तो इफ यू लुक एट द टाइटल ऑफ द मॉड्यूल इट से सेंडिंग डेटा टू द साइट्स एंड सर्वर साइड ऑपरेशन सेंडिंग डेटा टू द वेबसाइट नाउ इट इज नॉट रॉन्ग यू माइट बी थिंकिंग दैट द डेटा शुड बी कमिंग फ्रॉम द वेब सर्वर द डेटा और इंफॉर्मेशन शुड बी कमिंग फ्रॉम द वेबसाइट फ्रॉम द डेटा वे सर्वर देर इज नथिंग रॉन्ग अबाउट इट बिकॉज से फॉर एग्जाम्पल आई वुड लाइक टू नो वॉट वर द सेल्स ऑन अ सर्टन डेट वॉट इज द टोटल एग्रीगेट सेल ड्यूरिंग अ सर्टन टाइम पीरियड वॉट वर द सर्च रिजल्ट फॉर दिस काइंड ऑफ सर्च स्ट्रिंग्स विच वर द यूजर्स वर एंट्रिंग और टाइपिंग ऑन द स्क्रीन सो यू सी दैट आई हैव टू सेंड दैट डेट ऑन विच आई वुड लाइक टू नो द सेल्स आई नीड टू सेंड द टाइम पीरियड फॉर विच आई नीड द एग्रीगेट सेल्स आई नीड टू सेंड द की वर्ड for which i would like to know how many searches were done so this data is going from the client side to the server side we are sending the data to the server right and ultimately to the database server and at the database server the query runs and returns the results to us to be displayed on our screen okay now remember that all this data which we are sending to the web server that data is kind of uh, it is in the forms so you see that the forms a text box in the form or check boxes in the form or radio buttons on the form those things are not for the purpose of formatting they have their individual labeling they have their names they have their contents and this data is passed to the web server to the database server and it brings in the results okay so what is a form there are different sizes of forms there are different types of forms there are many things now remember one thing that once you are creating your web based database applications okay that you don't do on a daily basis that is done very infrequently and that is probably one of the most difficult parts of this project of this course of this work which you are going to do the reason being that you are not doing the things on a routine basis so it is difficult to master those things which are done infrequently because you don't have to master them so that is going to take lot of time and that is going to take lot of effort also so there are two approaches to go about uh, getting these things done one approach is that you engage a consultant and that consultant with will set up all the things for you will prepare the pages for you and will guide you will help you and you do this task in a less painful way the other option is that there are different isps which will the internet service providers which will or the database service providers which will do this for you as part of the package of the hosting package which you uh, engage with them which you develop with them which you sign with them and those things will be done now remember one thing the benefits of doing these things using a database approach will outweigh will outweigh will outweigh the effort which has gone into it there are many many benefits as i discussed in a prior module also that all the effort which you have done in designing your database in putting up all the things in order and sending the data in the database populating your database and generating the pages from that database will help you reduce the maintenance effort will help you reduce the maintenance cost also and that is going to be very beneficial for you right or not okay now there are tools and there are resources there are naming tips also there are many things which which need to be taken into consideration because uh, once you have decided what you're going to do then you have to select the tools which will do the task for you you have to select the internet service provider you have to select the database service provider you have to develop the screen the font the formatting how things are going to be arranged on the screen if you recall i spoke about these things when we discuss the certain steps of putting a small e-commerce business on the web now what the people see is your personality is your company which they see on your web based database application 
right or not now you could be developing that application from the scratch you could be developing that application building upon it on the internet which is seen by your coworkers or you could be combining the data bases or data sources from multiple companies and coming up with something and of course you have to promote it you have to manage the site also what the users see what you see right but remember one thing that there will be many many people who will be coming to your website looking at the resources using your website you have to ensure the security of your web based database applications of your web application also you have to ensure that only those things are done which you have allowed to be done things are validated at the client side things are validated at the server side and things are happening as per your plan so you have to take into consideration all of these things other than promoting your site so these are the management parts of your uh, website and we'll go into lots of details how and when you're going to do it when i go into the detail part of this course